Hi, hello, vanakkam and welcome to yet another episode on a little sla YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to see about the file variable. We will see what is a file variable and how to use the file variable and also what is the difference between the file variable and the counter and list variable. So before we move on, this is me, your Vasan Sharnugam. I request you all to subscribe to our channel, Little Sla YouTube channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please do like, share, comment your questions and your feedbacks in the comment section. So with no further delay, let's go to the video. So today we are going to see about the file variable. So this is the file variable, which is the third option in the file or in the variable section. And this is the most commonly used variable wherein if you want to bring in more values or if you want to bring in n number of values and use it for testing. For example, you can use this for a password, a username uh, and a password set or if you are using it for a different number of variables. So let's see them one by one today. So first let's see what is a file variable and let's see the basic use of using a file variable. So we'll start with a very basic example here. So first we'll name the file variable. So we'll name this as product number. then we will so here so this is similar to the list where we have columns and rows where we can see we can add multiple columns here but the only difference here is here we have to enter each and every value manually inside so for example so this is actually a big limitation when you're using a list wherein if you have 100 username and password and you have them ready in an excel or a csv file and you cannot or there are no options to bring inside the list but if you have this file option we can bring it inside with just few clicks and let's see that how to do it so we will create a file So here we have a file so we will have it as username as user1 password as password1 and same way you can have n number of values and here let me keep this as the delimiter which is the separating value between it and then we have to make sure that there are no lines after the last value i will tell you why it is so here uh, we will have so now we are having five or six values in it so let me let me save this make sure we are saving this inside the neoload project and this project is variable so we'll have to make sure that we are pasting this inside the folder where we are running the test so in that case when if we want to relocate the scripts or relocate the project it will be helpful for us to relocate it so always make sure that you save all the variables file inside the project what we are doing in so i will save this as file variable for now so this is just an example so just okay. so we have saved in and here again there are two options so one is import data set which we have already seen for the list data set so we have various other These are the predefined values which which the neolot gives us. And this is the option where we can bring the file. So just 
click on the three dot and this will normally go into the file where the project is sits in so I'm just selecting the file variable and I'm clicking on open so when you bring this in so we have already given this semicolon as the column separator and that's the reason we could get this in a separate file so in case if we are giving this so let me just open the file and I can show it to you so in case if we want to open the file and if you want to make any change we can click on open so this will take us to the file so let's see for example so I'm so for example like if you are giving a comma a comma symbol as the last value uh, as the column separator and if you refresh it so here you can see that all of them comes in a separate column in the same column because there is no separator column separator so if you want to make any change so let me change this column separator to comma and I'm clicking on refresh so now automatically this gets separated and also there is one more option so here I'm again opening this so we have user one and password one as the first column and if I'm selecting this so automatically the first line in this will be considered as the as the column heading so for example if I want to give this as username and password and we can we have to save it before we move on and if you click refresh so here you can see that the username and password has come as the first value or the first value for this so by this we this way so this is how we can bring in the value so what we did is we have no option to manually enter enter the values in the file so we have to create a file or if you have a file already created we can bring it in by clicking on this three dots and selecting the file and then we can bring it in and once we brought it in we have to make sure that the we have proper column separators and again we have the similar option what we have in uh, list so here you can see starting from line one and the same way here also we have this starting from line one option and then we have this use first line as the column heading so this will actually help us to choose the first value as the sorry there was some change okay. so here so we can uh, have that option like if you want to start it from line one or if you want to start from line three we can also make that change so let us so now so far we have designed this and we have also seen how to bring in this file variable so let's see few changes or let's see how does this work so let us go to this and we will change this to products as part which is part of the URL and then I'm changing this to one now we have product 2, product 3, 4, 5 and 6 and I already have told you so if what if you have a, an end I mean if you, there is an extra line after the last variable so let's see what happens here so in case if you are doing that way so automatically there will be a product value that happened that adds to the last but we can't see it here but let's see that in the test so we are starting from this uh, from the line 3 and uh, let us have it to sequential and in the cycle values we will have this as cycle values and in the value change policy we are keeping it as each iteration and let's start the test with few other changes let's just refresh this and we will change this to product and this is and there is one more thing which is even though we have any number of columns it is not mandatory that we have to use them here so but then we will replace it with the proper values so let's do that here going here and then I'll have to replace only this value so we have to remember what was the table name and the column name so it is product dot number so I have choose product dot number here and let us start the test 
let's have yeah let's have it as seven iterations let's see how does it run so let's just recap it so we have six values so six numbers here and we have got seven iterations and the test will start from line three so let's see how does it work so here we have got the test executed and it started from three till six and then it went back to one two and three so so far we have got executed with all these seven values for seven iterations and that way the test have gone fine so just a quick recap here so we have bring in the file from the we are bringing all the values from the file since we do not have any option to enter the values but we can edit this way like if you want to add any variable we can edit this way but we cannot enter or we cannot edit directly in the file section and for that we have list if you want to make any changes inside the new load inside this variable section we can have file list but since when you are using a huge number of values list is not a better option and file is always the only option to do that so then we have this file here and we have brought in the file made all these changes with the column separator and whatever the columns uh, we have to have it as a heading we have chosen that and the value change policy we have already seen that in our counter variable if you want to have a brief check you can go through that and then we have chosen the order again we have discussed about this order in our list video so if you want you can check that video so i think we have seen all the options we have for the file variable so with that we come to an end we'll meet you in another interesting video until then it's bye from us and shanmugam and little slaw